What attracted me to George Brown was the three-year conservatory program because it is uh, work on uh, specific things like voice and text and movement, which would really give you a much better sense of how to tackle Shakespeare and, and Chekhov and the much denser texts. One of the main things George Brown does to prepare you for the world of theater, world of entertainment, is to teach you what to expect when you're going into a room for an audition. It seems very basic, but you have to be properly prepared, and many actors aren't, and they don't know what to do to prepare, such as simply have read the play, to know the characters, know your moment before, your moment after, your objectives, what you want to come across in the scene, what you want out of the scene, have your lines memorized. Things that seem simple, but you don't really know until you get the proper training. First year of George Brown is an exercise called, it's called the sweater exercise that Todd directs. And the idea is that you are simply returning a sweater to a department store that you have to, no matter what, return, but the store clerk 100% will not let you return it. And you have to try different techniques and manipulations and twists and turns to get to convince them that they have to take the sweater back, even though it'll never happen. And just that simple activity opened my eyes to the amount of work it takes on stage in order to twist and turn through scenes and really lead a performance that I really had no idea about beforehand. Since graduating at George Brown, I've had the opportunity of working in the Toronto Fringe Festival, which I debuted in last summer, which was a great time. I've taken a Shakespeare show out west called As You Like It, um, toured it across the country, and performed in Prince Edward County here in Ontario with a Canadian play called Schoolhouse. In War Horse, I am a puppeteer. I play what is called the heart of the two main horses, Joey and Topthorn, as well as I manipulate the goose, which is a main <laughs> puppet in the play. And, and that was really exciting because I had never puppeteered before in my life. Didn't really even consider it an avenue of my career that I would ever experience. But now, as a professional puppeteer, I don't think I would ever discount anything in this industry.